My name is Paula, and I've been reborn. Um, my life, I started out as a pastor's kid, so I grew up in a Christian home. I don't remember a time when I was ever without the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Um, the key being that that was the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So when I was very young, about the age of four, I accepted Christ as my Savior, which I'm not sure that I knew how much that meant until later, but at that time, what I realized in the past is that it kept me out of a whole lot of trouble. And that was a good thing as far as keeping me out of trouble is concerned. But it was very difficult because as time went on and I grew more mature and wanted to know more of Jesus and had more questions about my relationship with him, so many of the answers were empty simply because I was performing for him instead of living with him. And so throughout my life, um, I learned how to critique I learned how to judge. Um, I learned how to felt critiqued and judged. And it impaired my relation with him significantly. And frankly, it impaired my relationship with a lot of people simply because either I was judging or critiquing or I felt like I was being judged or critiqued. And the bottom line is when you're in a relationship with people, it's very difficult for that relationship to be real. But also when you're in a relationship with Jesus Christ, it's impossible for that relationship to be real. And so I had so much in my life that was lost simply because I was living a performing life. Um, as I got older and graduated from college, I moved to Atlanta, which put me in a different environment and put me in with a group of people who believed in eternal security. And that was something that um, I was told was impossible and that it would be detrimental to my life with Christ. And for a long time, I believed that but I kept living my relationship as one that didn't mean much to me with Christ. And yet I was searching for that so much. And finally, one day the Lord brought that as reality to me. And I accepted him again as my savior, but as one who knew that I could be confident in the relationship with him and that I was going to go to heaven regardless. And I was so excited and it changed me. It changed my relationship with him and it changed my relationship with others. Um, I stopped being concerned about the criticisms that I got from other people, the judgments that I got from other people. And the bottom line is I was able to live a life in Christ that was confident in him because I knew that I could be obedient and I could trust him and that he had my back, so to speak. So I started living my life as one that was confident and I was listening for his voice and I had the confidence to be obedient. And when I had that confidence, I was able to be obedient. I was able to operate within him and have him live through me and work through me in ways that I didn't even know were possible. So now I have this wonderful job of being a part of Mayfair Bible Five Kids. And the vision that God gives me is one that I'm so excited about. There are times when it brings me down to being so, um, what I would like to say is humble because I realize it's totally about him and it is not about me. And I am so grateful to know what he wants to do for me, with me and through me in the future. My name is Paula and I'm newly born.